Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So today I am here with a really exciting review because this fragrance got so much clout. Okay, last year I feel like this was all over TikTok. It still really is popular. And I was like, hey, how come I don't have this in my life and I don't even remember trying it out? So I'm gonna be reviewing Valentino Donna Born in Roma because all of the girls are saying that this is it. Okay, this is the fragrance that's gonna make you smell like that girl i'm gonna give you guys the full tea on this fragrance and let you know if it's really worth the hype because i feel like this was pretty hyped up but <laughs> if you're new to the channel thank you so much okay for stumbling by on this video please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already help a girl out we're trying to hit 100k so subscribe if you enjoy the channel enjoy the content and uh, also turn your post notifications on so you're notified every single time i upload a brand new video because you know youtube can be crazy like that and uh, leave a comment down below have you tried this fragrance out what are your thoughts is it overhyped is it that good comment down below so i picked mine up from sephora and i am on the sephora website this is again valentino donna born in roma it's been around for a really really long time actually and i did smell this fragrance a couple of years back i didn't remember ever trying it and then recently um in my last sephora haul i picked this up and i was pleasantly surprised when i smelled this but i've had some time to really kind of experience this fragrance in the house outside of the house and see the longevity the scent profile and all of that good stuff so i'm gonna give you guys the full tea you know here we keep it 100 so this fragrance um the 30 mil is 95 dollars and there is the 50 mil which is 126 dollars it's not a super affordable fragrance but i mean you know here on this channel we talk about like 500 dollars fragrances so this is affordable to me at least you know what i mean now you can also get yourself a travel size at sephora which is a 10 mil and this is going to run you 39 dollars, which i think is a really great price point to try out the fragrance for a little bit so this is considered a floral fragrance it's a warm floral and the key notes in here is black currant jasmine and uh, bourbon vanilla okay so that is the entire take on this fragrance i'm going to tell you guys what i think let's start off with with the packaging I actually really really like the bottle I think that it is very edgy it's very fashionista it's giving me a vibe for sure it does look feminine but like a very confident powerful feminine fragrance when you look at the bottle this is not a girl that is shy and playful and like dainty she's gonna be talking okay she got a lot of confidence she got a lot of personality she dresses very well and she is not afraid to wear a heel that's what I get from the bottle I know that's a lot I really like that it is clear in terms of the bottle and I can see the juice which is a really beautiful blush tone and the contrast with the uh, cap is like black with the studs and the labeling I really like this like leather-esque material that they have going on overall I think the bottle is a 10 out of 10 it stands out it's eye-catching very pretty now let's talk about the atomizer real quick i'm gonna spray it that atomizer is gorgeous it's gorgeous it's not a complete like fine mist but it's not too abrasive it's not too harsh it's really nice and it flutters out beautifully so i do like the mist it's not going to be those mists where it leaves a bunch of oil spots on your clothes which i detest so this is a great mist and there is the little cap that i just took it off which is very minimalistic and looks very pretty on the bottle let's talk about the fragrance i just sprayed it and I can totally smell it I'm gonna spray it again and give you guys my thoughts so this fragrance is a mood uplifting scent every time I spray it automatically there is the biggest smile on my face it makes me 
happy. The scent opens up very bright, very fruity. You slowly get the aspects of the floral tones in here, as well as that beautiful vanilla. This to me is a very, 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 very crowd pleasing scent. It is the DNA of many designer fragrances. So to me, it is not unique. With that being said, it's still beautiful. A scent does not have to be completely unique for me to love it. There are many fragrances that I have in my collection that are very similar to each other, but I still love the subtle differences. So to me, this is very much that crowd pleasing scent, that fragrance that a ton of ladies are going to feel comfortable wearing, love smelling themselves, and those around you are also going to definitely enjoy it and pay many compliments. That's the DNA of a lot of designer fragrances when it comes to the women's fragrance category. This is fruity floral, but definitely I get more of the fruity tone and it is a juicy like fruity fragrance. So if you like that, you're going to enjoy it. The black current in here is very prominent to me. It's the thing that I get immediately, which reminds me so much of other fragrances, which I'll talk about in a second. I love the opening. It's very mood uplifting. It's happy. It's bright. It's captivating. It's almost addictive. And then this fragrance dries down. What I like about this one, this particular designer fragrance is that it's not completely linear. You will have a little bit of a development in the dry down. Some fragrances, when you spray it, that is what you're gonna get throughout the entire wear. But this one, I definitely feel like it's a little bit of a um, developing fragrance. So. To me, in the dry down, the sweetness in this fragrance that you get initially tones down. It's still there, but it's not as strong as it is in the opening. You're gonna get more of a musky effect in the dry down. There is that vanilla tone in there, so the sweetness is still there, but it becomes a little bit more refined. And I almost get this woody tone, like slight creamy woody tone. The fruitiness in this fragrance is still there. It still has this like juicy, almost mouth-watering aspect to it um, without it being too fruity, too food-like. You know what I mean? This is very feminine. To me, it's a playful, elegant fragrance, okay? It is not too mature, it's, new, it's not too uptight, it's not just special occasion worthy. It's one of those fragrances that you can wear with different occasions, whether it's during the day or the evening. It really is going to play with your personality, with what you are wearing, with what the occasion is. Maybe for a date night, this would be a great fragrance because it smells ultra feminine. And we all know that the fellas love a good sweet fragrance on a woman. So this plays really well for a date night fragrance, even a first impression, maybe a first date, this would work amazingly. Maybe I should do a video on fragrances for your first date. So I think that would be really cool. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you want to see that. But talking about this fragrance here. So I think that this is a beautiful um, everyday scent, special occasion scent. It's definitely like an all occasion, all year round kind of fragrance. Now I'll be completely honest and say that this is not unique at all when it comes to the DNA of this fragrance. Do I like it? Absolutely. Do I wear it? Ah, uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Because it's one of those fragrances that is just kind of addictive. Once you wear it, you want to keep wearing it because it has that mood uplifting aspect to it. But the DNA of this fragrance has been done over and over and over and over again. If you have this fragrance, please compare it to some of the ones that I will mention and let me know do you see similarities? Because I definitely do. This fragrance, as soon as I smelled it, definitely gave me Giorgio Armani My Way vibes. It gave me Giorgio Armani Sea vibes. It reminded me of Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb, but Flower Bomb has a heavier patchouli. But in terms of that DNA, I smell it really often, to be honest, in a ton of designer fragrances. And I'm not mad at that. It 
it means it's working. And that's why a lot of designer houses repeat that kind of DNA because people really gravitate towards this beautiful vanilla, like sweet fruity floral DNA. And it does smell absolutely gorgeous. So that's kind of like my take on this one. It's beautiful. Ladies, it is beautiful. If you are contemplating it, you probably will enjoy it. If you like, again, C from Giorgio Armani, My Way from Giorgio Armani, slightly Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb, you are really going to enjoy this one. There's nothing, or even um, Miss Dior from Dior. Uh, again, that one has a heavier patchouli, but that fruity floral combination is pretty repetitive in the designer realm when it comes to feminine fragrance. So I'm not completely blown away, but I do really enjoy wearing this. It's definitely a fragrance that I see myself wearing a ton okay because i don't need to think about it i could just put it on and i feel great i smell great and i know those around me are going to appreciate this fragrance so i ain't mad at it and i will definitely continue to wear it i've actually been wearing it quite a bit at home and it smells gorgeous in terms of the lasting power i don't find that this is the most long lasting fragrance. Even when I compare it to other designer fragrances, this is giving me uh, a moderate longevity in terms of like me actually smelling it on myself. I would give it about a five hour mark. It's not extremely long lasting to me, um, especially once it starts to dry down. Like I don't find that this projects super loud, but mind you, I haven't had the opportunity to really overspray this scent like I usually do with other designers. So maybe by over spraying it on clothing it's going to project a lot louder and a lot longer I do find the first hour it projects really nicely like you definitely get that scent bubble around you but after that it becomes a little bit closer to the skin it lingers and then starts to fade away at the mm, four to five hour mark at least on my skin and that's just kind of like my experience with the fragrance but again I think it's beautiful I totally get why so many people enjoy it but it is not something unique to me at all to be honest there's actually another fragrance that I picked up during the haul which is let me grab it actually while I'm here that's a close-up <laughs> um, this is Gucci flora gorgeous gardenia this fragrance to me is a lot more special than Valentino for sure I just find that there's something very elegant about the scent and it's very beautiful it's sophisticated and a little bit more refined but you have to enjoy kind of like your white florals because this is pretty prominent in this fragrance it is like a bouquet of flowers really so that's kind of like my take because I got these at the same time I keep comparing them and this is definitely something that I would gravitate towards more if I was like going to something a little bit more special that's kind of like my thought on the Valentino Donna born in Roma this is my take on this fragrance so if you guys have any fragrances from Valentino that you would like me to review because I honestly don't have a lot of fragrances from this house this is probably my second one um, let me know in the comment section what you would like to see on this channel and definitely let me know your thoughts on what I said about this fragrance if you own it and you absolutely love it let me know why you love it if you don't like it definitely let us know respectfully in the comment section but yeah guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today and can't wait to chat with you guys in the comment section ciao